I'm Paige Hopkins. We have some sad breaking news coming to us tonight as being reported by the Associated Press. Singer Whitney Houston is dead. Again, this is according to the Associated Press. Whitney Houston was 48 years old, a reigning pop star. We are waiting to find out the cause of her death. She, of course, was at her peak in the 80s and 90s. She had a very famous stormy marriage to another singer, Bobby Brown, that produced a daughter that you see right there. Uh, we're trying to find out again the cause of death. She has had a remarkable, remarkable career. She was actually discovered at 19 by Clive Davis of Arista Records. She also comes from a storied musical family. Her mother is the gospel singer Sissy Houston and of course her aunt, the famous pop singer Dionne Warwick. Again, we are right now getting word, breaking news coming to us out of uh, the Associated Press tonight. Very sad news for the entertainment industry. Of course, on this weekend of the Grammys, we're getting word that Whitney Houston, age 48 years old, has died. Again, we're trying to find out the cause of death. And you may be aware that she's had a very, very long battle with drugs and alcohol that was very public. We're looking right now at footage of her actually going to court. Uh, she faced many different charges throughout her career, stood by her husband, Bobby Brown, who also had a very, very public battle with drugs and alcohol. That's actually her ex-husband. There we're looking at video of them when they were actually in Israel during their marriage. They were a very public marriage. They even had a reality show at one point chronicling their ups and downs. She reemerged with a new album a couple years ago. She uh, divorced Bobby Brown. She was making a comeback. But many critics said that her voice seemed different and perhaps uh, that may have been because of years of drug use. It's not clear. Very, very sad news though. She was beautiful 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 singer on the phone right now we have court courtney hazlett excuse me we have courtney hazlett entertainment reporter on the phone courtney what can you tell us uh about whitney houston do you are you getting confirmation of her death well uh you know the, the ap has confirmation via one of her publicists she does have a rather large management team uh we haven't heard from everybody absolutely yet uh, i'm just learning about this a lot at the same time as we all are this comes as a huge shock obviously um whitney had had her ups and downs like you just mentioned a few moments ago but nobody saw this coming i can tell you for sure that her management team was in talks uh, for her to do more performances this year so it wasn't like she was uh, crawling away from the spotlight in any way the early stages of her comeback was still were, were still in the works they, she was supposed to do live performances later on in uh, th this calendar year and definitely this is not something that anybody anticipated and as recent as a few days ago wasn't it also being floated that she might be one of the judges on American Idol that that was a possibility for her uh, you know all these these sort of of big splashy roles were, were bandied about as comeback roles for Whitney Houston. Um, she's, she's really beloved by her fans. It was one of those instances where you, you really cringed every time you heard a bad story about her. There's, yeah, you know, this is the ugly side of celebrity here. You, you hear some stories about celebrities kind of falling by the wayside, and people say, yeah, they had that coming. But with Whitney Houston, she had such an amazing voice and amazing presence, and people uh, really cherished what she was able to offer up to the world for so long. Nobody liked seeing her uh, stumble as right. she did in recent years, so people really wanted her to come back. And seeing her as a judge on one of these shows really would have been inspirational to a lot of people, uh, especially young artists who really look up to her. Uh, Courtney, what can you tell us about her drug use and her alcohol use? I mean, her drug use was very public. It was public in the reality show that she had chronicling her marriage to Bobby Brown. Anyone watching that could have seen that these were two people who uh, were seemingly using some sort of substance and then she apparently was cleaned up she came out with that new album a couple years ago and then what did you hear about her use in the recent last year two years you know in, in recent years anytime she would have any sort of difficulty people would first say okay she's, she's doing drugs again or she's abusing alcohol again or something along those lines and a lot of times representation would say it's exhaustion or something along those lines the, the exhaustion line that we hear so often right. with celebrities whether it's true or not or just sort of a a cover-up for what really might be going on and, you know this is this is a woman who had not battled all her demons mm -hmm. and we've heard from addiction experts every time a, a really sad story uh, along lines of this let's be clear we don't know what cause of death was sure. 
at sure. this point. But, no, we don't. Um, um, you, you know, anytime you, you hear about these stories, you know, addiction is something these people deal with lifelong. And with Whitney Houston, her addictions were not something that, that were 100% behind her, you know, according to, to anybody who knew her well. And, and also according to people who knew her well, you know, she grew up in this family of gospel singers out of Newark, New Jersey, and she really had a very sheltered upbringing, a very strict uh, sheltered upbringing. It really wasn't until she became quite famous and dating famous people and, of course, marrying Bobby Brown that it was even obvious she had any sort of drug issue. Isn't that true? And, you know, it, and this isn't something that's unique to Whitney Houston, of course. I mean, Hollywood, show business, if you will, in general, doesn't even just have to be... Uh, the corner of Hollywood per se, but whatever aspect of show business you're ensconced in, you know, this this sort of lifestyle is something that, that tends to rear its head uh, quite often, sadly enough. And, you know, Whitney certainly wasn't immune. No, she was not. And they, we also should mention they have a daughter, uh, Bobby Christina. Bobby Christina how, do you know how old she is? Off the top of my head, I don't. I, I believe she's uh, a teenager. Yeah, a teenager or, or nearing her twenties at most. But you know, they do share a young daughter, and she too has had to deal with the spotlight. You know, we we love to. Wedding vows, but still Mary won't let me get under her blouse. I pray to my God, I walk a righteous road, but each and every day you know the need inside me grows. Like From dawn to dusk, high and low and near and far To find the one who did this Who is the guilty one? That's it! About Ishmael and Isaac Now who was, now who was offered for sacrifice? Was it Ishmael or Isaac? I, I, now I tell you according to the Bible that is not true because you read there, Isaac, thy only son. And at no time was Isaac the only son of Abraham. You see, 13 years before Isaac was born, Ishmael was born. And God Almighty accepted him as the son and seed of Abraham. No less than 16 places in, I'm sorry, 12 places in the book of Genesis. God speaks about Ishmael. He said, as for Ishmael, I will hurt thee. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation, because he is thy son, because, in another place, he is thy seed. No less than twelve places. God Almighty accepts Ishmael as the son and seed of Abraham long before Isaac was born. Thirteen years before Isaac was born. So now, when was Isaac the only son and seed of Abraham? You go and work that out, and next time when I come to Johannesburg, you tell me.